145 pound final. We have Roman Moser to one seed and Ryan Vulak from Pope John Paul. Moser Mathacton comes in with a record of 16 and 5. Battled some injuries this year. Uh, didn't get to wrestle the full season. Vulak comes in with a record of 20 and 4. And here we are on the start. Vulak in on the inside, head inside single. And he's already reaching for that far ankle. And they go out of bounds. Fantasy says no. Vulak was fifth at the Beast and seventh at Powerade earlier this season. Impressive. Vulak has a freshman at North Penn, was seventh in the state. Now, Vulak was seeded third today, Joe. Yes, because uh, they went off a lot of... A lot of uh, is it prestige points from last year? Last Lack, year factors yeah. into a big time. That's how he ended up being the three seed. <laughs> Moser coming over the top. He's got trying to do some little foot sweep there, and he leaves himself exposed, and Vulak takes advantage of it. You gotta gotta make sure you get it if you got on a guy like that. Vulak tables it. Still has that wizard in there. Yeah, Vulak, uh, Pierre Blay forced him to sit out last year after transferring to, to PJP and, uh, you know, was unable to compete at all. So what, what does a kid like Vulak do when he can't wrestle in the normal season? I mean, is he just, is he wrestling uh, for clubs? What's You know, to be honest, I, I know uh, he spent some, you know, he was in the PJP room. Uh, I, I believe there was an appeals process that, you know, there were several different forms about ways it was appealed. It's a big decision. But, uh, you know, it, uh, you know, at the end of the day, like, it, it, it came down to, like, a kid lost the whole season competition. Like, the kid suffered. It wasn't, yeah. you know, that, that you know, let, let kids, you know, within reason wrestle. Right. Um, I don't know all the circumstances leading up to him leaving North Penn and ending up at, uh, Pope, John Paul. at Pope John Paul, but... You know, the the fact of the matter is, there you go. A kid gets punished, and he can't wrestle as a result. Hate to see it, especially in a sport like wrestling, where so much work gets put into exactly. it. Exactly. Not that, you know, not sliding any other sports, as we both know, uh, but you know, wrestling, the, just the the body, the amount of work go, that goes into becoming good, if not great, is. Uh, in my, in my opinion, I think you'll agree, is, is significantly more than others. Absolutely. There's a lot of sacrifices are made. I'll say it, Joe. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> so, right there at the end of period, Vulak got a tilt for two. Moser wins a toss in between periods, the first, and Vulak decides to go down here as we start the second with a 4 nothing lead. Vulak to his feet. Moser coming out, or staying behind rather, with a half. Goes half other side now. Vulak back to his feet, getting heavy hips and breaks hands and is free for an escape to make it 5 nothing. Moser just a sophomore. Again, I know battled a concussion earlier in the year. Missed a significant time, only having 21 matches coming into the season. That's some pretty big wins in those, in those 16 that he had. Had a pin earlier today, Joe, and then semifinals. He was eight to one against Brider from Boyertown. Brider's a tough kid too. We will try to change levels and shoot through Moser, but Moser up to the challenge. I'm just glad Moser's back on the mat. It makes District One stronger, makes the pack stronger when you have all your uh, all your top guys out sure. on the mat. Nice reshot here by Vulak. Goes right to that oh, low leg right Turk. To the Turk. And he's getting swipes, swipes. as well. Oh. Get a full set of three. And not sure where it went wrong there. Potentially dangerous. Wow. Turn my head for a second. Yeah. Just a score. Throw, big throw over That's on the Matt big throw. One. Yeah, Matt won. Cole Meredith from Owen J. You just heard the thud and the, yeah. the woos. 
from our vantage point up here, we, as you can see, we're, we're up at, up top, top of the bleachers here in front of the press box at the this nice gym here at Boyer Town. Really thankful that they're they're willing to host this last year for this tournament. And uh, you is know, that official, Joe? It is official. We're going to uh, Super District tournaments next year. It'll be three district tournaments uh, with about t roughly 24, 22 teams apiece. And uh, the uh, we're going to do wave the league tournament. So that's uh, that is one official stamped and uh, done deal. So there's Moser trying to. I don't know what he tried to do there, but it didn't work out for him. And Vulak was able to get the takedown and run his lead to 12 to 2. This Vulak is a strong kid, obviously. Working that. Yeah. Does a nice job rolling that wrist out. He's got trapped in the back. He's knee up, traps it. Under 5 to go here, so probably not going to be able to use it too much. And then Greg Fantasi all over it with the potentially dangerous. 2.7 seconds go here in the second period. Moser to his feet, but can't get anything out of it. Rolling to the third here. Moser goes down. Vulak's like, no, we'll go on our feet. And... Uh, Go from there. 12-3 is our score in the early goings of the third period. Luluk working a deep two-on-one Russian tie from his feet. Nice job. Nice job there. You know, there were some rumblings that Moser didn't deserve the one seed. That should have been Vulak based upon all things considered. Uh, you know, who he is, where he's ranked, uh, and, and shouldn't have been penalized for the year off. And, again, uh, I know it's a system, a point system, but uh, I agree. Like, Vulak should have been the one, and then Toon should have been potentially Moser or Meredith or Meredith and Moser. Didn't matter. And those two should have fought it out for the, the yeah. right to get here to wrestle Vulak. Instead, Vulak and Meredith wrestled in the semis. It's a 7-3 match. Um, you know, it wasn't, you know, uh, a little bit closer in this one, um, but you know, it, it, you know, it, it is what it is. Like Vulak is the is the cream of the crop at 140 pounds, For 45 sure. pounds here, in, in the pack. And there's another takedown. Vulak's ranked number one in the district, Joe. Third pound for pound. He actually is a nationally ranked wrestler too, isn't he? Correct. He's uh, you know, he's ranked in the top 20 nationally at 145 pounds. So, you know, uh, by some publications. We're 15-5 here with 35 seconds to go. 16-5, sorry. And Vulak shows no signs of letting up. He's not going to cruise here. He's going to he's going to continue on attack. And, you know, it's, again, it's your best offense. You look at the last match in Petroselli, like, you know, when Rosansky put him, got up on his feet and had to go big, Petroselli was back on his attack and, and never let it happen. Same thing here. Your best, op your best defense is going to be your offense. 18 Five is the score. Looks like he's going to get some swipes here. Oh, and he got out of bounds. Real estate. Twelve seconds go. We'll see if Vulak tries to pour it on. It's going to be tough to pull off a tech here now, with only twelve left. Quick, cheap tilt, and it's uh. He's not going to give a point, but he's content to win 18-5. Oh, jeez. Oh, and he and gets he, it. Oh, does he get it? Yes, he gave him two. Yep. That's a tag. That's your final score. 20-5. to five. I mean, you know, it was like with like three yeah. seconds to go, he, he put that, he got that bar in and started running it. Strong and, kid. Yep. Strong, technical. He, he has, he has the, the perfect mix of both. And, uh, you know, that's why he's ranked where he is so there's your champ at 145 pounds ryan vulak from pope john paul gives them their second champ of the day uh i don't know that we we're able ever to say that ever before in the pack that that pjp had two champs and they still have one more to go into finals when and they both had the last the same last name joe yeah so that is uh that's your champ there and we'll be back at 152 pounds